And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play, si no, not System Shock 2, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. Um, I've actually found Samuel, he is in this tent. Let us talk to him about, um, yeah, the prospect of finding the chemicals that Miles need in order to get his hydroponic farm up and running and thus make the LA Boneyard self-sufficient. Miles said I should talk to you about... <coughs> Sorry. Miles said I should talk to you about parts for his hydroponic farms. Do you know anything about that? Ah, yes. As a matter of fact, I do. Last week I sent a guy up north to look for the parts for Miles. But we haven't heard from him since. The last transmission I got from him was that he'd found the parts and was on his way back. I haven't had time to check on it personally yet. And I don't want to lose another person to whatever may cause his disappearance. Um, okay, if I should make an educated guess, I would say that he was either killed by the blades or by a death claw. Um, great, thank you. I'll search in that area for the parts. I'll let you know if I find your missing friend. Would you? That'd be great. Like I said, things have been busy here and you can't afford to be losing more people. Okay, we should now have another quest. Uh, yes. Okay, it's the, it's the same quest. It's, it doesn't count as a separate quest. So I think we've... Well, we've basically talked to everyone here besides um, Tyne, who's running the local shop. A local shop for local people. Um, where are more my companions? Ah, there, there they are. Okay. Let me... Uh, yeah, I need to... Okay. They definitely fixed a few annoying things in the sequel in Fallout 2. Like the fact that you cannot... You have to use the steel mechanic in order to actually get something from your um, your companions. So is that something that I really want? I don't need three rifles, so maybe give me two of them. I also probably don't need all this ammunition, however I don't really know which ammunitions I could... Um, I need potentially, so maybe... Okay, I need to find Ian. Which is a bit difficult. Because he is... Behind... Hidden behind the scenery. Okay. What is it that you have that you don't really need? Like this knife. You don't need this knife. Okay. You... Okay, again. Um, I should probably sort off this ammunition, but I... Uh, yeah, I don't know which ammunition I might potentially use. So let us try to sell a few items. Let us talk to a cheery, a cheery man with a cl close cropped hair. Hello, stranger. What can I do for you today? I'm Mr. Man. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Tyne. Um, can I ask you about the hub merchants? I do some trading with them from time to time. Mostly I sell bullets in exchange for foods. Um, that's everything, everything that we can really say about them. Okay, I'd like to, to do some trading then. What is this? Oh, plastic explosives. Uh, okay, have all this crap. Okay, how much do you want for one plastic explosive. Okay. They are actually... They are quite cheap. Um, I don't... Well, I don't know whether we actually need these explosives, but... I think I'll have one. Um, okay, how much do you want for these? Those are really cheap. I will take all of them. I will take also your <laughs> 60 or 70... Bottle caps. Um, 
Maybe another one of those. Maybe another one of those. Okay, that's a fair deal. Hmm. Well, actually, it was not very fair, I think. I've gotten much more out of this than he has, but... Um, what's your take on Aditum? Ain't a, li ain't a bad little town. Zimmerman's a fair man. Maybe not the brightest guy. Yes, indeed. I don't think he has... He has an, much of an idea what's going on in this town. And, of course, we've got Miles. Probably... Probably the only man in a hundred miles who knows anything about science. Okay, I think that's it. Um, and I guess we should go to the north and try to look for the... Um, to the northwest, rather. Okay. Try to f look for this... Um, person, or, or at least the part that... Um, Samuel L. is missing. Okay, I think the... So there are two exits here. Apparently. Um, ah, this brings us out of the town. Maybe we need to take the other exit then. Yes. Okay. This is a bit confusing, but... Um, we've got there eventually. The signs of gang activity are evident in the partly rebuilt nightclub and tiny outposts here. Okay, let us proceed. Let us proceed with care, uh, with caution then. See a member of the blades. Let us talk to her. Uh, okay, he sh she's not much. She isn't really up for a conversation. Mm. Is there anyone else that we can talk to? Yes. There's a random small child that we can talk to. Yes. Hi. Hi. Hello. In the same meaningful conversation ensues. Okay, um. Yeah, these appear to be all the same generic kids, the same generic uh, missing parents. Hmm. Yes, okay, there's, there does not appear to be a point in talking to them. Let us talk to someone else, like this member of the Blades. Okay, it's not going... Okay. Is there anyone here that we can talk to? Like this very obvious um, strong stout man with a bushy beard. Hello lad, what might you be looking for today? Who are you? Well, I'm McRae. I held the blades some against the death claws and that regulators bunch. Teach them a bit, of, teach them a bit about protecting themselves against those nasties. What kind of stuff do you teach them? Well, a special. Well, okay, that's very hard to pronounce for a non-native English English speaker. Well, okay, I'm just going to. I'm not going to try to um, read this out faithfully. Well, my special, my special, and again, I fail. To read this out, well, my spe 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 speciality is fighting with my fists and taking a punch of or two more than the guy thrown them at me. Could you teach me anything? You seem to be an all right lad, but me times, but me times busy with keeping the blade schooled. But me times. Okay, I can't pass the sentence, but me time's busy with keeping the blade schooled. Okay. If things were to straighten themselves, I might be having the time then. Were you? Uh, 
What do you teach? Can I ask you something else? Who are you? Uh, what? Have you seen the death clause? Seen them, I have. Ran like hell, I did. If you're looking for them, you, you'll find them over there. Make great points over to the east. Uh, where you What's the deal with the regulators? I was thinking that death clause were the spawn of an unnatural act. Bottom regulators are evil. Come once a month or so and they show their ugly faces and drag a father away from his wee ones. Hmm. That's interesting. So the mayor of um, the LA Boneyard or the other part of the LA Boneyard claimed that the blades were um, would have taken his wife hostage. And now they claim that um, apparently the regulators regularly um, well abduct people from this area. I wonder whether that's true. Um, anything I could do to help? You'd be wanting to talk to Razor. A good last if there ever was one. Okay, what can you tell me about the blades? A good group of people is what the blades are. Stuck here between the damn regulators and the death class ain't mean meant the happiest life of them. But they survive. Okay, I think that's everyone that we really want to know. Let us talk to Razor. You see an intense young man. Uh, I wonder whether this is Razor. Hello. I don't think I've seen you around here before. Can I help you with anything? Who are you? I'm Michael. My wife Christine and I live here as Blades and I help them with what we can. Can you tell me about the LA Boneyard? Sure. To the south is Aditum. Over to the north northeast you will find the Gunrunners. But you will have to get through the Death Claws to get to them. To the west is the followers of the apocalypse and to the far south I've heard there is some kind of church. Well apparently the church of the children of the cathedral. Can you tell me a little about about LA Borneo? Okay, why do you all live here? It is not as bad as it seems. The regulators and the death clause can cause problems but our leader Razor has helped us a great deal over the past months. And more recently, McRae has been showing us how to protect ourselves better. Can I talk to your wife? You see a very young, very beautiful, very beautiful young woman. Hello. Can I help you? Who are you? My name is Christine. I live here with my husband Michael. Who is in charge around here? Razor keeps track of most things with the blades and to help organize ourselves. Can you tell me about this area? Michael and I just moved here, so I haven't seen much of the area. I've heard about a large church to the south, but it sounds mostly like rumors. Is there anything else I should know? What? Is there anything else I should know? C, C, D, E, B, D, ducks. What? What? What on earth is this all about? Okay. M R not ducks. O O S M R C D B D wings. Y I B M R ducks. Okay, I suppose this is some kind of code. Uh, maybe a rotation cipher. Uh, y I B M R ducks. That was strange. Okay, I have no idea what just what just happened. Um, We can actually uh, get this dialogue again, so I guess this is sort of important. I should probably think about this a little bit and try to work out if this is a sort of rotation cipher or something else. Okay. You see Dugan, a Noca Cola addict. Uh, yes. I'm just looking around here. Uh, what's with the Noca Cola? Uh, it's tough for life. Well, actually, if I don't drink it on an hourly basis, I 
It's a splitting headache. Hmm. Is that all? But that doesn't seem to help anyone that much. So? He raises his eyebrows at you. What is so good about Nuka Cola? It is the stuff of life. Well, actually, I don't drink it on an hourly basis. I get a splitting headache. How much of that stuff do you drink? Uh, about five liters a day. Can I ask you something else? Uh, yes. Um, what do you do around here? I pontificate on life a lot and help the blades understand the true meaning of new Coca-Cola. Uh, you are quite insane. Do you know that? Um, who's in charge around here? Razors, the woman you'll want to talk to. Oh. So it's a woman after all. Um, would have expected it... Wouldn't have expected that, but... Are you Razor? Could you please stop for a moment? Could you please stop for a moment? I'm trying to talk to you. Uh, and you're, you're just faced through solid walls. And you continue to face through solid walls. Would, would you please stop? Okay. Apparently she is not Razor. Um, and when we come back, folks, we will talk to her. And try to figure out whether, well, what's going on with the, with the blades and the <laughs> carbonated water, caramel color, aspartame, phosphoric acid, potassium benzoate to protect the taste, natural flavor, citric acid, caffeine, caffeine. Yeah, and we will try to figure out what's up with the blades and the regulators. So until next time, folks. Until then.